So it was a totally normal Friday night, just like any other Friday night. Um, going to work, I'd worked a double. I had just talked to friends about coming up and visiting me on Monday. All of my family was gone, um, actually camping out in Yellowstone, and my sister was down in Madison. So I was just taking care of like the family property and all the animals and the dogs. And the night of the actual accident, which was September 12th, 2008, I had worked a normal shift, just like any other great shift at this beautiful fine dining restaurant that I work at. I needed to leave that night, particularly like right after I got done, because one, I needed to go home and take care of this household farm of animals, and two, because my personal dog, my jack dog, um, had eye surgery the next morning and that was like an hour and a half south of where I lived So I was planning on getting up at like 6 a.m Walking all the family pets and then getting in the car and taking my dog to eye surgery So that is the only reason that I got in the car at 10 20 p.m. That night So I had just gotten in my car I was just driving up this really steep hill that headed south out of Ellison Bay, um, Door County, Wisconsin. I must have been going probably about 45 miles an hour um, just because I'm in my little RAV4. It hasn't been driven in eight hours. I'm going uphill on an incline, you know, like it's a 1997. It does not like haul ass. It was just doing its thing. and. It's a hill with then a curve from my vantage point to the left. And I'm looking up this hill and this car is coming so fast at me in my lane down the hill. And all I had time to do was be like, take my foot off the gas and essentially lean on my horn. If I'm car A and she's car B, she came and right at the last minute, instead of hitting me head on, she veered because I just held steady. It happened so fast that I did I don't believe that I had any reaction to like turn off the road. And there happened to be someone probably about a hundred feet down the road from me. He had just picked his wife up from work and so they saw the entire thing happen. I had this crazy experience then, ended up having like reconstructive surgery on my knee and my arm and ended up having to go back in February to get my knee, um, all the, they essentially like jewelry wrapped it almost, like all these little pieces together. And um, it was a really long road to haul, like to haul. She and I are gonna meet, I think, on the year anniversary of when this all went down, just to kind of like engage. And I don't really have animosity towards her in any way anymore, but um, I definitely have $13,000 worth of medical bills that still need to be paid. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna pay them. Like she's definitely the one who's gonna be paying those bills.